The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we get the Dow Industrials up 100. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 19. S&Ps are up 14. Gold contract down $6, trading at 11.27. Gold has hit the 11.21 area today, folks. Rejected it. Didn't even get to a swing point. Strong. Strong like uh, bull. Not strong like bull yet. Uh, really sweet, though, because the way the gold today is going to be really cool watching this thing shake out, folks. The reason being is that you, ha you do have silver up, which we needed. Silver's up 11 cents, 11.78, 14.78. Over the 14.42, you're in the larger range. Dollar index up 566 ticks at 96.41. That baby is having a hard time at the minor swing. Never mind, it's a bigger swing. So the divergence is out here in spades. You have the euro down 105 at 111. Um, and so even fundamentally, you know what's so cool about this market right now, when I'm talking the metals market, the dollar and the euro, is this, is that Draghi was out today, uh, bottom line, saying that, hey, listen, quantitative easing is going on. And in Europe, folks, what ends up happening, they don't have as many bonds as we have. So thus far, uh, bottom line, they can almost buy them all. They were buying 25% of them. Now they've upped that to 33% of each issue that's out there. What does it mean? It just means that they're trying to throw more buyers into the marketplace. Now, that being said, on a fundamental basis, what's, what I'm really digging out here now is this, is that you'd think that if that's the case, okay, the dollar should go to the moon, the euro should go to hell. Bottom line, that's not happening, okay? Um, and you can always find out more about what's not happening in the marketplace most times than what is actually happening. Uh, oil, oil's up a buck right now at 47.33. Uh, bonds, the bonds, man, this is gonna be a trip watching these bonds, okay? So, let's, I wanna bring up the bonds right now because I gotta show you this. And, and this is where, this is, this is no doubt uh, tricky here. And this is what it is. The, 10 and the 30-year bond, folks, have given the cleanest information out for, you know, a couple years now. And when I say the cleanest information, that would be to me, that they go up on volume, they pull back on volume. It's been a consistent basis all along. So when you took a look at a supply and demand line, which that's all I really do, it's like, okay, man, there's real buyers. So what do we have? If we take a look at the 10-year, the 10-year, you know, we spiked 129.28, the high of that 10 year was 129.21. So you spiked it, it has the juice on it, all of the above. Then what we did is that we come off that, and the first day coming off, we come off with some volume, 2.8 million. Now, what we haven't done, so I'll give you the bullish and bearish of this first. The bullish is that we didn't even come to a swing point yet. That the minor swing on this baby is, you know, 127.04. So when you can't even make it to a swing point on a retracement, it's like, man, that is strong. Okay, so that's, that's the bullish part. The bearish part would be that, well, actually, hold it, TYZ, I get the wrong one up here. We just transferred this over. So, same deal, okay, so 127.11. So when we take a look at this, it's like, okay, it's having a hard time at the 127.15 level, and that's what I'd like to see it get into because that's where you, you got down from. Um, and each and every time that we're coming up to this uh, 127.19, you do have sellers. Now, the 10 year though is looking a lot better than the 30. So if we go back to the 30, we take a look at the 30, this is what you have with the 30. The 30 has been teetering and it's been teetering to at the lows. Now, as it's been pushing into the lows, it's pushing in to the low that was generated out here on the ninth, on the first, and it's pushing in with lighter volume. But the longer that we stay down at the 153.24 level, we hit 154.02, the higher probability goes that it can get below that level. So the bond market um, is important to keep your eye on because it's going to be all about 
September 14th, 15th. Is the Fed going to go up, not go up, all of the above? You know, so, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. Our own S&Ps, okay, if we take a look at the S&Ps, I love this setup. This setup, folks, uh, is a classic. And the classic is uh, ABC structure on the way down. Um, this is the <laughs> ESC. If you take a look at this, the... Uh, what you're going to have is this, okay? Yesterday, we, we bounced on lighter volume. Today, I expect it's going to be also lighter. You know, you, the S&Ps, uh, the futures got up to uh, 59 today or at 53. You know, we'll see where they close, but they very well could close at 40. The NQs are really generating the, the signal like immediately. And the NQs, you know, had traded up to 43.04 on a spike. You had 42.70. They only have to get the 42.63, and you got failures all over the place. That, with that aspect, if we take a look at inside the NDX 100, Netflix is the largest mover on the way down. Netflix is basically giving us a good indication of what's happening. If we go over to Facebook, Facebook's down 71. Well, for, let me go. Dollar Tree continues to get destroyed. That's down 85. And then you have... Um, Expedia's, which is the down 41. The strength inside the NDX 100 today is Montelis uh, is up uh, $1.24. You got Acme Technologies up 190. Green Mountains up 145. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have? The strength versus the weakness. Uh, Dow's up 105. The strength out here, in fact, there's only two stocks. So check this out. This is pretty cool. There's only two stocks that are negative right now inside the Dow. Um, and that bottom line is saying that everything is just positive slightly because you're only up a hundred bucks. So Intel, Intel's the leader out there. That's up 55 cents. You'd have DuPont up 74. Chevron is up a dollar 16. Verizon is up 67. Taken away from it. On the way down, you get uh, Caterpillar down 167. Oh, let's go look at that. What's happening with good old Caterpillar? Okay, so Caterpillar is also coming into yeah, you can see that seller too. So on the first, you can see the seller come in the, the stock. Uh, we had 3.8 million. You bounced yesterday at 1.6. Right now, uh, with uh, what are we dealing with? It's pretty amazing. 45 minutes, you're already at 491. 491, you're going into the top of the low bar of the 24th. That's saying that, guess what? We're going to go after that low bar. If we go back over to Netflix for a second, we take a look at Netflix. What you have with Netflix? This, of course, has been a nice high flyer. Um, the, the bar that we're talking about, actually, uh, it's just broke the 25th just now. That's 101.50. It broke that level. Um, and we're going to break that 7, 6 is a 42. It looks like we're going to break that level with volume. We're going to be right into the trading from the 24th. And that, that is a heads up extraordinaire. Let's go over to the uh, Tom Brady wins case. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over to uh, IBM. Uh, IBM is also into the bar from the uh, 24th, 25th. We'll see whether IBM rejects. IBM right now is up a, a dollar 66. We're at 146.74. 146.26 is the number to watch uh, in IBM. We go back over to that gold contract. That gold contract is going to blow some minds today. It's going to be really cool watching this thing shake out. So gold right now is down um, 540. You're at 1128. Uh, you were at 1121. And if you, this was a classic too, by the way, folks, on the way down. But what, what also happens is this. You always, you always want to understand where the swing points are and what the volume is at the swing points. So when you see a downdraft like this, the first thing you look at is that, okay, do I have a swing that it's going into? Where was the volume characteristic? And if I break this down on a 10-minute basis for you, this is how it is. When Draghi came out, gold went from 1126 to 1120, 170, okay? You had 7,900 7, contracts. Well, then you got into the low, and the next bar only had 4,400 contracts. Your next bar, which got into the low again, only had 2,400. So watch. You got... 7,900, 4,400, 4,200. And what was that going against? Now watch how this, you shake this out. If you're aware of what it's going into, the 
And you only have to remember a few days, by the way, okay? If you go back into the 26th, the 26th, we had 207,000 contracts. That is a nice setup for a rejection of price. And then you go back over to the dollar simultaneously. If you're trading those metals, you want to know what's happening inside the dollar. The dollar right now um, is having a very tough time getting to its swing point. The swing, swing point in the dollar is 97.10. It's like you can't even make 97.10. It, could, it couldn't make it when it went up on the 28th. And that number on the 28th is going to be a big one to watch today. Right now, it's over it by four pennies. Um, you have uh, 45,000 contracts. So watch how this is going to work. We should have higher contracts than the 45,000 because right now, uh, what, what we're at is that we're at uh, 38. If it can't even hold that price and it has the volume, it would say two different things. It would go back up to that level of the high of today. It'll test it once again, but not holding price would also indicate that, guess what? It's not going to make it to the higher price. When you put that together, that the gold contract is rejecting lower price. The dollar index is rejecting higher price. What that sets up is the coral. Oh, and then let's go over to silver. Watch, because sil what silver is doing, silver is also indicating that it wants higher price. Oh, this is sweet. I like what silver's doing. Okay, this is what silver needed too, by the way, folks. So silver... Uh, you know, rejected the 1442. Bottom line, you are at 1480, and inside 1473, game is on here, man. So you get game on in the silver market. And that's what we need inside the metals market in general. Dow right now is up about 131. Nasdaq is up 33. S and P's are up 18 and a half. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You know what's cool? 
taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. And if we go over to the commodity market and take a look here, you got uh, copper up uh, 3.4%. You got, uh, let's see, sugar's up 2.3%, crude's up 2.3%. You got silver up 1.7%. Nickel is up 1%. You got coffee up 1%. Natural gas is up 7 tenths. Uh, On the downside, wheat's down 8 tenths of a percent. Hogs are off 6 tenths. And uh, bottom line is that uh, you get some juice uh, inside that, uh, that market, no doubt about it. Excuse me, folks. If we go over and we take a look at the uh, copper market for a second, HGZ, what you're going to see is that um, it not only has the uh, wide price spread, uh, it, when you see basically accelerated buy and as you're pushing it to swing points, bottom line is that, you know, it wants higher price. And the copper market on the 27th of August, we had 59,000 contracts. Copper traded from uh, 224 a pound to 234. Following day, 230 to 236, also 60,000 contracts. You pull back, and here's the correlation. Then you pull back with 35,000 contracts. You pull back with 42,000. It starts moving higher again yesterday with 46,000. We've already done 41,000. Um, let me just see this, see what time that pit stays up. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're talking, man, you're talking all day here. You're talking 12, you're talking 5.15 uh, or 4.15. This thing is uh, an ABC structure on the way up. It's taken the B point out, so your A point on this is 20. Your B's uh, 36, 16, uh, that's 28, 38, 48, 8, that's 44. Two, uh, we're almost there. Uh, we're at 241, 244 is the number. But, but the bottom line is that um, you get copper that wants higher price. Uh, some of the high volume stocks uh, in this market right now, we're going to have a low volume market out here. You have uh, Joy Global. We've got to check that out. So Caterpillar and Joy Global are getting smoked here. Joy Global's down uh, $3.48. You get Netflix off 234. That's come back somewhat. Twitter's up a buck. You have. Uh, GoPro down a uh, dollar. GoPro is getting toasted, roasted, all of the above, no doubt about that. Yeah, and uh, for all you Patriots fans out there, uh, bottom line is that uh, Tom Brady is going to start. Now, that, what's going to happen now is that that's going to be one of the biggest watch games, period. There's no two ways about that. Let's go take a look at the Dow. The Dow's uh, printing some decent numbers out here. The Dow's up a buck fifty. Uh, inside the Dow, it's all about. Um, Leading it up there as Intel. Intel's up up at 64. DuPont's up 88. You get Verizon up uh, 72. Exxon Mobil is up 121. If we just take a look at that indice as to uh, where it is, it. Let's see. So your last high up here was uh, 669. All right. Uh, so that's 169 above where we are. The downdraft that was created out here on what day we are now? Is it we Thursday yet? With Thursday, yeah. So on Tuesday was uh, 528, and right now you're at 503. Uh, the NASDAQ composite, we take a look at the composite. Uh, the composite right now is at uh, up 38. Uh, that high out there was uh, 836, and we're at 788. Um, the Qs, the India, it's, what's intriguing here, the NDX 100 uh, basically is weak. Uh, now this is, so this is what we did, folks. Okay, we came down. 
if we take a look at the cues, you came down, and I'm just talking about the last five days, because you can just bisect and dissect the last five days. We can do it, the whole thing, but if we do the last five days, we had hit a high on the 28th, and we did that with 49 million shares. We come down, and we come down with 73 million. Yesterday, you did 43. Today, we're at 12. Now, this is where this gets really wild. So picture this. This is how I... Okay, we're one hour into the market, and you have 12 million shares. That's huge, okay? So how do you handle that if you think it's an ABC structure on the way down? So watch how this works. A defensive play on this would be that if you have 12 million shares in one hour, you should be banging out 70 million like easy. Now, 70 million is almost unheard of in the context of, you know, we went down with 73 million, but the, the Qs just don't do 73 million. Okay, so that's, that's your first indication that, okay, that's what we should do. Well, yesterday we did 43. Well, check it out. If you're a bull, what you want to look for, of course, is something over 43. If you're a bear, you want to look at something under 43. Now, check this out. If you actually get under 43, when we've had 12 million shares at the first hour, that's a much better indication that we're going lower. Why? Because you can see the correlation. The, co the correlation is whacked out because you should get it and you should get it real easy. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrial's up a buck 49. NASDAQ up 39. S&Ps are up 20. We're going to right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesamento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up to the second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 129. You get the Nasdaq up 31. S&Ps are up uh, 17. And don't forget, folks, uh, you can get all our programming right in your cell phone, tfnn.mobi, 10 hours of live programming every trading day. Now, if you're on Facebook, uh, when I do a 10 minute, uh, a five minute update at 10 o'clock every morning. Just go to tfnn.com uh, on Facebook. That is out there each and every morning. Now, let's go, with, there was a question in the den about uh, buying, um, DWTI, okay, DWTI, uh, first off, uh, DWTI, Let, let's go through what this is, because this is pretty cool where this is going. So that's the velocity uh, three times inverse correlation uh, ETN as to where the oil market's going. Right now it's trading down $10.83 at 97.66. So watch this, let's put this up, okay? We'll put this baby up. For, well, first, and what we want is you're going to put up the crude oil. Now, when we take crude oil and we put it up, what you're going to see is that you're going to see the velocity of the move. Uh, I have this on a 10 minute. Okay, so the high that was generated out here uh, at 1430 hours on the 31st has volume. So what happens is that that 4930 level should get tested. That's the first part, okay? Now, it depends on how you, you, you're trading this, okay? You want to trade, well, here, so bigger story, that has to get tested, right? Shorter story goes like this, okay? Because these, these when you're doing the, uh, the triples anyway, these are daily investment vehicles. If you're trading inside the oil market, another way to look at it is like this. When we go from that high down to the low, we just had a .786 retracement of the move, okay? Now... I'm gonna bring this in closer and you can see what's going on here. When you bring it in closer, I'm gonna bring it in two days. There's not enough juice right now to me to go either buy the DTI. The reason being is that even if we pull back inside the oil market, I suspect you're at 47.81, you only wanna pull back to 46.36. So if we go over to TWDI, uh, D. One second. The DWTI, I would let that hang out there for a bit more um, before I would be going to buy it. You know, it, what it is doing, and this is what's pretty cool, uh, it is coming into, uh, no doubt, the, the you know, this, stuff, this thing, man, you talk about volatility, it went from $222 down to $91 in three days. Uh, and, you know, I've talked about this before, folks. The pro shares and the direction shares, meaning the doubles and the triples, are, are great vehicles to trade. What I've found is this. When they're trading at the 12, 13, 14 level, even up to the 22, 23 level, they're pretty cool, okay? When they start trading at the levels of 50, 70, 100 dollars, they're just way too dangerous. They're, you, you, Go in the future market, okay? Um, because yeah, you can see exactly what happened with, with this thing here, okay? When you're, when you're compounding that number and you start compounding 150 
and 120, you, you go to, you know, 236 in a heartbeat. Well, guess what? It, just, it up, goes just the other way. So my, my point is, is that um, handling them, uh, you can handle them a lot easier when they're at lower numbers. It's the same percentage, okay? But it's not the same hit that's going to be uh, on your account. Let's go and we take a look at the uh, dollar right now. So this dollar is going to be so intriguing today. Uh, right now, you're at the 69 level, and the 69 gets you over the, thir the 50, uh, 35, I believe. Oh, no, it's 63. Oh, well, we're right there. Okay, so the number we're looking at is the, uh, well, actually, hold it one second. No, I'm, we're still on the U. I just brought up the, the Z contract. Now, we're still trading the U contract. So, right now, we're at uh, 96.40, and it's the 35 level. It's the 35 level to keep your eye on. Um, thus far, it's, it's hanging over that level. If we take a look at it, let me put this back two days for a second. So if your first spike had the juice, that it couldn't handle it. Now, see, it's not going to be able to handle it. This is going to be wild watching this thing shake out. So we got a spike up to 96.55. Last time we had any juice and it was 30. So that's saying at 96.30, it's going to be game. And if we close at that 96.30, that would be saying that it can't even hold the higher price, which is just pretty intense. We take a look at some of those Dow stocks out here. You get uh, Caterpillar down a buck 26. We get Boeing up 119. Uh, Oxy's up 115. In fact, let's go take a look at the uh, Exxon Mobiles. Yeah, don't buy Exxon yet. It's not ready. This is going to be wild. It's, okay, so check it out. Exxon comes off the bottom of 66, nice expansion up to 75. However, when it did 75, it didn't have volume on the 27th and the 28th. Comes down on volume, and you're testing that level with light of volume. This is going to set up for a nice buy, but just be patient. The, the buy on this thing is 71.44. Uh, if we look at Chevron, CVX, same type of setup. Chevron, <laughs> Chevron right now, uh, oh, see, this is interesting. Chevron's a different setup. So Chevron, yeah, Chevron has juice. Chevron was, looks like it wants to do a small ABC up. That's, that's, that's intriguing. Let's go take a look at Oxy, O-X-Y. Oxy, uh, Oxy's kind of uh, Oxy is set up uh, as Exxon Mobil is. Oxy wants to uh, be, wants to pull back. Uh, we go take a look at uh, the E minis. Uh, so what you have out here today is that the E minis have juice in them, and then that, and the NQs do not have juice in them. So if we take a look at these uh, E minis, we put this up. I guess we got to put it. See how this? Okay, so so you spike high out here this morning was 68. You're at 66 right now. You had a couple other pushes up. You know, as soon as the 940, that was a push up with volume also. And, uh, you know, the, the volume up at this high is 68. It's not bad. So the, the, there's divergence this morning between the S&Ps and the NQs. The NQs uh, just don't, uh, so that's the NASDAQ. They just don't have the juice, man. That's pretty intriguing. Normally, um, yeah, the, the NQs, the NQs want to trade down to 57. You have two, you have two separate downdrafts there. The first one was uh, right at the 930 mark, uh, 4257. That's where that, that's where that's at. So there's a, there's, there is absolutely divergence in between those uh, out here today. If we go take a look at the uh, NYA, uh, the NYA right now is up a buck 18. You're at uh, 10,163. That high out there was uh, 10,252. Uh, and when you do look at this and put this back on just about uh, any chart, anything that stays inside uh, the 10,238 mark, that is the lower range, uh, you know, that the all the markets had broken out of. Uh, over in Europe, uh, they, they got some action over in Europe. Uh, the DAX right now is up 3.1%. Uh, you get the CAT up 2.7. FTSE's up 2. Uh, our own markets, the S&P is up 1. NASDAQ is up seven tenths and the Dow is up nine tenths. Uh, 
you know, the, the DAX, it looks to me that the, the DAX, because we went up so much yesterday, the DAX is playing catch up here. What is going to be important, though, uh, is that uh, can this DAX uh, cl clear 382? The 10,382 was the high that was generated out there on the 27th. We go take a look at uh, GPRO. GoPro, uh, you talk about uh, stock getting hammered. Uh, this is an ABC structure on the way down. It broke a B point, broke it with volume. Uh, we're trading at uh, 40.13. You're under the the lows that were generated out here on the 24th and uh you know this this little baby uh when you take a look at it i believe it went public well here i get the number one public but it traded up as high as 98 and uh yeah the high was 98 established on october 7th of 2014 the low is 37 this did uh Look at that, and they did a secondary. That's intense. So it got it got priced out at 24, did a secondary at 75. Uh, the CEO did get away with murder um, by basically there was a lockup, and the SEC allowed him to basically, uh, no, to uh, give his own foundation um, shares and sell those shares, which is pretty intense because we know how the, all these foundations go. The foundations, folks, uh, basically uh, set up uh, so that everyone has cash flow and uh, they hire themselves nonprofits. That, that's the bottom line. It, it's the biggest, um, easy, well, it's one of the easiest ways to basically push as much money as you want uh, out without the tax implications uh, in a huge way. Silver, we take a look at the silver market. Silver continues to uh, hang at high price. We'll see where this uh, shakes in coming into the close out here today because uh, the close out here today uh, inside these metal markets are going to be important. And thus far, the silver market is hanging pretty good. Um, you get the it, silver. Actually, I can make the case. Yeah, silver overtook the 78, 1478, did it with juice. That would set up. Let me see how far I can bring this back. Well, conservatively, 75, 47, 57, 60, 30 cents, 75, that'd give you 15, 10. 15, 10 would be uh, a number that that could get into that number as we come into the close. Because what you're going to see out here, there's going to be a force into this close out here at, at 130. China's going to be closed until Monday. Uh, our Monday, what is going to happen, our futures are going to be open uh, those Sunday night. And what I don't quite know is that if they, normally what happens, uh, and I'll have to pull this up, normally what ends up happening on a holiday, they'll open Sunday night, then they close again, then they open Monday again. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't think they're going to be open all day Monday. Uh, but we'll uh, check that out for you. We'll get, get that information. Dow Industrials right now up 148. You get the NASDAQ up 35. S&Ps are up uh, 19. Volume-wise, this is what we have. You get uh, NYSE at 186. We have the NASDAQ at 448. The NASDAQ has some good juice in it. Now, we'll go back to the Qs just for a second and the SPIs, because remember the Qs has done 12 million shares, and the Qs you want to keep your eye on in a big way. Now, I've done 13.3, and you can see how the correlation has dropped off so dramatically. And I suspect that's going to happen all day long. Now, if that's what we get, and if we actually get lighter volume than 43 million, field day, folks. Field day selling right into it. Why? Because we know that we had 12 million shares. We had 12 million shares in the first hour. Bottom line, if you have lighter than, vol than yesterday, after having 12 million shares in the first hour, that is signaling that all those orders were basically done in the first hour, uh, first hour. and you know it, it doesn't mean well what, what it should mean is that you need consistent buying and consistent selling, and that is not what we're going to have. What that is, that's a force on the open. Um, you know whether people are buying or selling, whatever they're doing. Uh, in this particular case, I suspect that they were buying. Why? Because you had that goose up, and that goose up, those spikes up are always pretty cool. Uh, that spike up specifically was about uh, draggy. So we're going to have jobs numbers tomorrow. Listen, the jobs number is going to be pretty good. Um, there are, they, they're, when you look at the jobs, I, 
what we've done 200,000 jobs per month average for the last uh, three years. So the, the jobs numbers are out there. Uh, the um, Challenger was on uh, the Challenger report, folks. If you really want a, a clean report, that guy, John Challenger, I believe that's his name. He's on, you know, CNBC. They have him uh, before uh, the jobs report all the time. He said, he, I love that guy. He's, he's just, it's common sense. It's clean information. Uh, what he was bringing up this morning is that there have been um, uh, quite a few layoffs, but that's, you know, the, the oil industry is getting hit. There's no two, no two ways about that. Uh, that being said, bottom line is that it's still going to be basically a, a, a decent number that's coming inside, inside this marketplace. We go take a look at uh, good old Walmart. Of course, uh, we have with Walmart. Walmart can't get out of its way. That's another indication that, guess what? These Dow stocks, we're staying down there. The high of the 24th, and the 24th is a benchmark out here, is 66.16. It's in the range. You know, the, the high was 66, the low was 61, you're at 64.71 right now. Good old Apple, let's go take a look at Apple. Um, Apple is at 111.99. Now that's out of the range, that's 108.80. But what you have with Apple is that yesterday you went up with 61 million shares, you've done 16 million today, a Apple's another one, keep your eye on it. You go up with lighter volume, the correlation is pretty clear. You're down on volume, you back up on lighter volume. That's all about distribution. That's let me out and let me out right now. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Dow Industrials up 151. NASDAQ's up 34. S&Ps are up 22. Gold down 760 at 1126. Silver's up 15 at 1482. We're going to be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up a buck 79. The Nasdaq's up 40. S&Ps are up uh, 23. And that divergence is out here pretty good. Uh, you know, when you take a look at the, uh, it, what's intriguing is that the NDX 100 can't get any juice, folks. You get the uh, Dow number uh, up at buck 78, big good number. The composite's a decent number. That's up uh, 59. And the NQs are only up 27. That. What, what you, when you have the Dow up 179 and the S&Ps are up by 23, folks, those NQs should be up about 60. So what that's saying is that inside the um, NASDAQ 100, the NQs, you have some weakness. And if we go take a look at uh, what is happening inside there right now, the weak, uh, there it is. The, the, the weakness has to do with uh, Netflix. Netflix is down to 265. Facebook is off uh, 53. Uh, that is basically uh, hitting, hitting that uh, index. Inside the Dow Industrials, the, there's only two that are negative right now, Caterpillar and Apple. Uh, Intel's putting the juice into it, as is uh, ExxonMobil and Chevron. Exxon's the second leader stock inside the Dow. Uh, the third leading stock is uh, IBM, and uh, IBM's up 256, and IBM uh, is a dead cat in, a, in an extraordinary way. Inside the uh, IWM, let's go take a look at the IWM out here. The small caps, we have done uh, 90, 9, 9 million shares uh, thus far. You're coming into 45 million. Yesterday we did uh, 26. So uh, the IWM is also something that you can keep your eye on because what we had out here yesterday was the IWM um, was the lagger. And thus far, the IWM is still uh, lagging pretty good. Uh, you're, up, you're up a buck. If the IWM closes under the uh, 114, it's just hitting the gap right now. The gap is 114.76. We've hit 115.06. That level there is important to uh, basically say, okay, are you going to get a rejection at that price? And are you going to go up over that price in an extraordinary way? We go take a look at that gold contract. So they just whack gold again. Let's go take a look and see what they're doing with gold. Gold's at 11.24. We take a look at this baby. We bring it back. And now this is where you can really learn a lot about how the market is intraday. So what do we have? Um, gold spiked to 11.30. We're at 11.23 right now. We're at uh, six minutes into the bar. This buy here has, uh, you got to love it. This has 2,100 share uh, contracts versus 7,900. Bottom line, I suspect they'll get this into the 24 area, 1124. That's where you're going to get a rejection of price. Um, then you'll build some more cars to do what? To try to get into that high once again. Dollar index, as we were just speaking right there, the dollar index spiked the other way. And dollar index right now is trading DXU. Dollar, dollar index is trading at uh, 
96.58. That's over the swing point. That's that, you know, that's a minus swing, but it's over that swing. And the swing point is 96.35. Um, We've done 42,000 contracts thus far. So it's, it, the dollar index is going to have the volume. The real question is going to be, can it hang in there on price? Uh, the spike right now uh, has a little juice behind it. Nothing like it had this morning, but it does have juice behind it. As it just overtook the uh, 96.45 level, um, we, have, we have some juice inside that index. Don't forget, folks, 10 hours of live programming every trading day. You can get right on your cell phone tfnn.mobi. If you want to tie, that's the audio. If you want Tiger TV, just on your cell phone, go to tfnn.com. On the right hand side, you're going to see a box. Hit that box. Our servers are going to understand what device you're on, and you can get Tiger TV. You stay right there. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. It's going to be growling and problem with you. Then we have, uh, let's see, Thursday, we got uh, Steve Rhodes. Uh, uh, Dave White, I'll be back this afternoon with Andy Heck. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking this afternoon, folks. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.